All right, guys, so what I'm gonna show you now in this video is what compression and decompression is. Now, this has nothing to do with um, undersea diving. This has got to do with zipping and unzipping, compressing, un com decompressing, um, or extracting. Okay, now, what's really good about this is that it uses a special technology to squash files down so that you can, number one, save space, okay? Save space on your hard drive, so free up more space by squishing things, making them smaller. And also, it's really great if you need to send someone a file and the file is maybe just a little bit too big, you can zip it down, you can compress it and make it smaller, and then it's able to be emailed. Not always the case, but it is it is possible for a lot of other files. I'm gonna explain, I'm gonna demonstrate, okay, what I mean. So for example, here we have a file. It's a Microsoft Access database file. It's called members. And you'll see that I'm in detail view here, and I can see that the size is 484 kilobytes. Okay, so that's how big this file is, 484 kilobytes. Now I can zip that up or compress. We call it zip because uh, quite a few years ago, there was a very, very popular program called WinZip. And WinZip was like the industry standard for zipping and unzipping, squashing and unsquashing files. Is unsquashing a word? It is now. So I'm gonna show you what, why we call it uh, compressing or decompressing. So I'm going to simply right click on the file and I'm gonna go send to compress zipped folder. See, so Windows still uses the words zip because of where we've come from with WinZip, okay? It was so, such a powerful program. But now, obviously, that technology is part of Windows. So send to compress zipped folder, right? So we click on that. It then zips up that file into its own little file, zip file over there. And have a look here. So the original members was 484. The new one, members.zip, is only 17 kilobytes. And you can see there, uh, it even tells me that the file type is a compressed zipped folder, 17 kilobytes. So from 484 down to 17. You can see the advantages of this. Now, uh, why would we call it a folder? Well, it's because a zip file, okay, can actually contain other files in one file if that makes sense, okay? So it's like a folder with lots of things inside and it squishes them all down. I'm gonna show you what I mean. So here, for example, I have a folder called Custom Office Templates. So I'm gonna open that up and I've just put some random files in there just so that I have something to work with. So just imagine these are all various files that have to do with Custom Office Templates, okay? Just for fun. There they are, they're great. I can actually right click on this folder now. It's not just a file, I'm right clicking on the folder and I'm going to give access, oh, what am I saying? Give access, give access to everybody. Cool. I'm also going to go to send to compress zipped folder. Now watch what happens. Click. It then zips it up. I can rename it, obviously, or I can just click outside of that. And there it is. It is 49 kilobytes. And if I look at the original file size of that folder, sorry, not file size, folder size, it was 52, so it's knocked it down, not a lot, but it has locked it down a little bit. The beauty of this, though, is I can send this to someone as one zip file, but it contains many other files in one container. Let's have a look and see. If I double click on this now, I'm going to double click on it. It's going to open it up. How do I want to open this? Well, let's say File Explorer is good. Always use this file. Yes, good, good. Open that up and let's see what's inside. Okay, so now have a look carefully at the interface. I'm going to minimize that there. Open that up there. Have a look at this interface, guys. This is super important. You can see that it says custom office template.zip and .zip. And you can even see it's got a, a tab here. It says compressed folder tools and there's an extract all. I can open that up. There are all the files that are inside the zip file. Now, at the moment, I'm not, I haven't extracted or decompressed or unzipped anything. I'm looking inside the zip container. I'm just looking. Don't work with the files in this format, okay? Because they, you won't be able to save your work. You have to extract. Before you do anything, you need to extract. So let's say, for example, I would like to unzip this or extract this now. And I'm going to remove the original database file just so that it's not going to get in the way. I'm just going to get that out of the way there just so you can see. So there it is there, members.zip. How do I now get the zipped up file that's inside there? How do I get it out? Right, right click, 
right click and now you can see it says extract all so take everything inside bring it out okay extract all select a destination normally just wherever you are is where you would like to extract it to so let's just do that and then it says show extracted files when complete cool extract that was super fast and voila it is now done it is gone and made a folder called members and inside there there is the file and it is now extracted so guys please uh, if you want to save space zip up things if you want to send a whole bunch of files in one file zip it up okay and then don't forget when working to unzip it or extract it okay so compression zips it down makes it smaller but you can also compress a whole lot of files into one file or decompression extracting whatever is inside that folder you can extract and put it back into your computer all right good luck good luck good luck for what what are you gonna do like zip up your computer or something or unzip the whole well, what are you gonna do unzip the universe unzip the universe cool